Question. What is the speed of the fastest airplane? The American X-15 is more of a rocket than an airplane. It reaches a maximum speed of 7,300 kilometers per hour, which is almost seven times the speed of sound. This jet cannot take off from the ground on its own. It is carried to a high altitude by a B-52 bomber and then released. Only three units of the X-15 were built. The fastest passenger plane and simultaneously the fastest means of transportation in human history is the Concorde. This is the first and only civilian aircraft that flies faster than the speed of sound. It reaches a maximum speed of 2,330 kilometers per hour, 2.2 Mach, and consumes four times more fuel per passenger, a maximum of 128, than a regular jet. Most airports do not allow this British-French company aircraft to take off and land due to the tremendous noise. Therefore, it mainly operates between New York and London or Paris. It takes just over three hours to cross the Atlantic. However, Concorde planes are so unprofitable that they can only operate thanks to billion-dollar government subsidies. Question. What is the maximum cargo capacity of the largest transport aircraft? The transport aircraft Murian, created by the Antonov Design Bureau in Ukraine, can carry up to 250 tons of cargo. The giant aircraft weighs 600 tons and has a speed of about 100 kilometers per hour. Question. How much does the largest helicopter weigh? The largest helicopter was designed in the Soviet Union. The Mi-26 can lift, in addition to its own weight of 105 tons, another 56 tons. The giant is 40 meters long and 9 meters high, powered by two turbines, each with a capacity of 8,500 kilowatts. It can fly without refueling for 800 kilometers at a speed of 250 kilometers per hour. Question, how many passengers can the largest passenger plane carry? The Boeing 747 jet can carry a maximum of 516 passengers. The aircraft is 70 meters long with a wingspan of 60 meters. Its maximum speed is 969 kilometers per hour, and its range is 13,000 kilometers. Question, how long does it take and where can you fly by plane? Managers of major companies around the world striving to save time fly on the Concorde. For example, a British manager leaves early in the morning from London to New York. The sun rises five hours earlier there, so despite the flight time, the passenger arrives in New York before the office is open and can spend the whole day handling business. Then they take the evening flight back to London and can sleep peacefully in their own bed at night. Ordinary passengers still fly on regular planes the flight time of which is significantly longer. But it still takes only a fraction of the time that was required for trips 100 years ago. Roughly speaking today for a long journey, you need as many hours as days our ancestors spent on the same journey at the beginning of the 20th century. Instead of spending a whole week sailing to America, today we can fly there by plane in about eight hours. Friends and guests of my channel, thank you for watching.